Remember good old VHS tapes? They had their run in the 90s, but they're certainly not making a comeback. So if you're still holding on to a box full in your basement, it's time to put the VHS tapes to rest once and for all, and put those memories into a digital drawer. Costco, Walgreens, or Walmart offer the service, or you can mail it into an online service. But you'll have to spend around $15 a tape depending on where you go, and they may not always give them back in the most user-friendly formats. Oh yeah, and sensitive material may be off limits. So if you're more comfortable doing it yourself, here's what you need. There's no way of playing these anywhere, so you're going to have to get that old VHS player out of storage too, or order a used one off eBay or Amazon. You'll also need one of these converters. There's a ton of options out there for Mac or PC users at different price ranges. I'll be using this one I bought on Amazon for about $40. Next, you'll need a Mac or PC with a DVD player to install the software. So if it's a newer device, you'll also need one of these. Or check to see if you can download the software online. If it's an older computer and you have a big pile of VHS tapes to get through, I'd also recommend an external hard drive to store all the footage on. Start by plugging everything in, and make sure to match the colors on the VHS output. Then insert the CD and download all the necessary software. In my case, the drive and the editing software for later. Now dust off that old VHS tape and put it in the player. And I'm talking about the home movies, not the copy of Braveheart you never returned your Blockbuster. Before you hit play though, open the software that came with the converter and make sure you adjust your capture settings to a format that's easy to store and edit. MPEG, MOV, or MP4 work great if you have the option. Now make sure you're queued up to the part you actually want to save because chances are not all of your tape is worth saving. Finally, you can start recording on the computer and press play on the VHS player. Now let it roll for as long as you want the clip to be. Once you're done, you should have a file waiting for you in the folder you selected. You can end here or put it on a USB or hard drive to collect dust somewhere else or upload to a cloud-based storage service. Depending on the number of videos and the weight of the file, I would recommend Google Drive, iCloud for Apple users, or Dropbox if you don't have a Google or Apple account. Or if you're really adventurous, you could edit a sweet home movie with all your footage and even add some throwback transitions just for fun. The Analog Converter comes with its own editing tool, but there are plenty of free programs out there like iMovie for Macs or Movie Maker for Windows. And if you're ready to go public with your Popstar past, you can even upload to Vimeo or YouTube.